Morning! Hello and welcome to my daily vlog of life on our beef and arable farm here in South Yorkshire. It's a little bit wet today, but we've got everybody in, so should be full steam ahead. Feeding cattle, first of all, and then see what we get up to a little bit later. Morning, Andy. Morning, yeah. Stress-free days today? Yeah. <laughs> So Andy's getting on the straw blower and I'm in the nine meter, I'm gonna go and get some straw. Yeah, everywhere's looking wet, wet, wet. Um, so I'm just gonna open these gates and then we'll get some straw down off the pile. So we're starting at the top on a Monday morning. 36 foot, I think it is, to the top of there. Burst. Oh, Andy's off in there drawing up and it started raining near on it fantastic we need to get some drilling done really but um, it's just uh, the weather's not on your side is it when it gets into well nearly November I'm in here unwrapping another silage bale for these guys that came in from grass or came in from water whatever you want to call it you gotta move your head, mate. Come on. That's it. Good boy. I've got this one trying to eat the plastic off me. It was really tugging on it as well, weren't you? Hey. Oh, you big softy. Andy's gonna come and straw these up in a second. You are lovely, aren't you? You are lovely. It's really chucking it down, and the drain is. Covered in straw. We better get that cleaned out and then water can flow. So the fire tractor was supposed to be going uh, to Ripon today, but I don't think anybody's gonna volunteer to drive that up there in this rain with no window. So um, that looks like that's called off. It's coffee time. He's done and he's back on getting the last few pens strawed up. Andy's just been doing the round and round. Unwrapped and banged in the mixer behind so we can chop it up nicely uh, for if we need to mix a little bit later today. Um, I think the plan is we're gonna try and get some more cattle home from grass. So um, we'll, get the, we'll get the cattle trailer on one of the tractors and uh, I need to think about doing that. So that's what a side marker should look like. And this one's nearly falling off, so it looks it. like it's like it's got a plastic stud. I wonder if we get some tech screws, we could just tech screw it onto that, I reckon. Bossman's just been, he's been collecting the merch for today. A few hats have gone out this morning, so um, we are running a little bit low on them but they are more on their way, so do not fret if, uh, if they do go out of stock. Um, if anybody wants to find that, then it's at joeseals.com. Um, hopefully I should be putting these um, quarter zip things on soon. Uh, I just need to get some, some photos. I'm not very good at getting the photo of it. I know I keep doing videos and stuff, but actually getting photos of the merch is, um, yeah, I need to spend a bit more time on that, I think. And is looking like he's concentrating a lot. You got it fixed? I've got one in. Tech screwing it on. Oh, has it got the, like a little plastic thing or something, aren't there? This would be an upgrade, this Andy, although I know it's not black and it's not the prettiest, but it'll hold it on. It's better than it falling off. We're back to fix now. You don't want to take them out and modify it so it's symmetrical. <laughs> what do you reckon? I don't know, it looks all right. Back on anyway. Not that like, well, I suppose they are needed in technical law nowadays, but like all the other tractors before 21 or whatever didn't need to have side markers like that. It's just a regulation. There's the oh, yeah, tractor fans out there cringing at our... Uh... Adaption. Yeah, you, get the proper you need to get the proper plastic plug and put it in. Probably, probably like 25 quid or somewhere for two plugs. 
done it for 25p. Right, we've got the um, the ball on, so we're going to get the we're going to get the cattle trailer on. So in the cattle trailer's last outing, if you remember, it got very, 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 very stuck. Um, so hopefully that's not going to happen this time. But you know, we can't promise anything. Me and Andy are a bit squeaky. Um, setting off to the field now, so we can fit these cattle up. We've got the trailer on the back, the gates in the back, keys, keys sticks, feed. Have we got band? Should be band. Have we got band? Let's check that we've got band. It's a good job we've talked his talk way through these things. Band, but the back door of the trailer wasn't sure. No, no. Well, that was lucky then. Yeah. That's oh. been about that one when he watched it. Mm. So we're down here, we'll see what it's like. Last time it was all flooded in the bottom there. Looks like it's gone off though. See how this we're underwater to the left hand side of us. And down here, that was, well, it was level with the bank, wasn't it, water? Much. And we couldn't see the bank to get to the get further along to the riverbank. These posts on the right hand side were underwater. Still got water down here. I mean this here is supposed to be our handling pen. Um but I can't see him wanting to be pushed along that little bank there to get into it. So I think we have to build the the gates that we've already got in the back of here up somewhere else in the field. My dad and Connor are following in the Sang Yong. So these are the fellas that were up to their bellies in water. This they would have been swimming in here. And they are a bit quick and wild. So this could be fun getting these in. Come on, out your way. Do it at that gateway into the field over there, but it's flooded, so we'll have to do that. So it's back to the entrance that we came in. We'll settle down there. Just making a bit of a mess in here. Probably just going to fetch this out. Try and get them into the enclosure, maybe without the uh, without the extra gates first. But these aren't behaving themselves and going the way that we want them to go. It almost looks like they were heading for the gate in that corner. That's the gate shut. Somebody's doing some serious edge cutting somewhere. And we will start pushing those towards the end of the field now that we want them at. It's amazing how much water has gone off here. Like literally I would be swimming right now. They're moving down anyway. My dad has got some feed at the bottom of the field. It's here with a white bag. Um, but I don't think these guys are uh, really ones to, to follow a bag. We'll have to push them. He has put some out for him, so hopefully they'll follow that. So we're nearly there now. Should just go in. All being well. As you can see, them a little bit flighty. in the pen apart from these three. They want to go to them but they broke past me dad and Connor. They're in the bit that we don't want them to be in. With a bit of running we've got them in. In the yard with the first load and our like bins pushing everywhere up. It does look tidy. 
heading back down the lane now. Uh, last load of cattle, then we've got to come back for the gates. And that's it from down here. No more risk of anything flooding. This is the last four to go on, the quieter four. Not the crazy ones. Go on then. Come boys. Come on then. Come on. Come on. Yeah, look over there how the water's stopped on and it's just hand further back in the background. Just rotted it off. So nothing will grow there. But luckily it came off this quite quickly and don't want to have done any damage. It looks to have made a decent job in here, doesn't it, Ben? So anyway, I'll get these cattle dropped off. Not sure if them guys are going to come back up here, have dinner, then pick the gates up, or if we're just going to, if I'm going straight back to pick the gates up now. Um, I'll better find out really, aren't I? So these guys are coming off now. I'm going to this pen. With all the straw in it, we'll give him a, a hay or a silage. We'll probably vaccinate and worm them. Clip their backs as well today. Down here now, um, so I'm going to get these gates and then can get me dinner because I'm absolutely starving. Stuff there, we drill as well. Fucking headphones there. What are you on about? Looking at your drilling, just picking out everything to wind you up. This is another mound there, you need to sort your power around. Alright, says the man who's left stripes or, and had block coulters. I have three block coulters, I don't have to give block coulters, but I'm hoping it's just a headland. In the yard, it's dinner time. That is dinner now. I'm just gonna have a, a quick look at the teagle and that chain that I thought was a little bit slack yesterday. I just run it for obviously this morning. And I just want to make sure that you know it might need tightening a little bit. I don't want to leave it and then we're looking at it, we're on it. Well, I'm fairly happy with that to be honest. It's not too bad. I think, um, yeah, we'll just check it out after a week. See what it's like then. Ben's just getting the bits that it swept up earlier. Put them in the trailer. Brought it for another batch of cattle now. These ones never got risked with any water really, but it looks like it's going to get wet. So we're just pulling into a field, we've seen them. There's a lot of water in here, but there always is. That is a pond. Um, we're going to build the pen just a bit further up here. We've never built it here before. But the cattle are at this end of the field, so I think it makes sense to do it this way. So we've got the pen set out, it's not ideal. Um, and the way that we're fetch going to fetch them is not going to be ideal either, but we're hoping we can move some of the gates across when we get them in and they don't spin round on us. we are lined up, Andy and Connor, side of it. There, Ben is just fetching them along that hedge line towards us, and they are following him, which is good. What we want to see. Just hope they're going to the pen and behave themselves. So they're here now. Some stragglers at the back though. Don't like stragglers at the back. We've got a fair few of them in there. But we can't push them to shut them in because these at the back will be out of the containment area, as we could call it. So hopefully these don't get bored in the time it takes these to catch up. So we've got them all in now, which is good. I don't think they'll all go in at once, though. So be about three or four loads here. We'll get this done. So we've got them 
enclosed in there. These ones are on the trailer, me and Ben will take them back. Went um, a lot easier than expected. Just, just about ready to come. We'll get on back up to the farm. We'll let these fellas out now. There we go. That's it. With another load now, so this trail's gonna be murky. Ben's okay. stopping back this time, he's gonna um, just continue cleaning up because there's plenty of us down there just to fetch the last load and uh, and some gates back. Does a good job that brush. Oh, right, we'll get the last of these back from here, away from the pond and the wet weather that's coming later in this week. There goes the last ones for today. Maybe get some more home tomorrow, I don't know. See what the weather's like. We've got all the gates stacked up. We'll get these in the back of the, um, I want to say lorry, trailer. And then we, uh, we can get on home then. Job done down here. Um, all the cattle away for 2023. Um, well, on this field anyway, we've still got some alpha grass, but um, we'll fetch them home maybe in the next week or so. After dropping those cattle off, we're now going around feeding up um, these guys down here that we have. We've dropped some of the ones from the field in this pen, some around the other side of the farm. These need an extra bale of hay and silage today. We've got quite a few in that pen now. It's getting very dark. This time of year, it's getting dark, Andy. Dark, dark. <laughs> we'll put this silage in. Right now, we're trying to bend this bar Watch out there. back. Come out right. That nice. Twisted. Ease yeah, that's done. Waste of time. Just square to it. Trying to straighten this bar out is a four man operation of wasting time. Still feeding out here anyway. In the dark. It's a good job we've got the LED lights on the TM. Everything's in here eating. But everything's getting put away in the shed. I don't know why that bucket's on top of the mixer like that. That's a um, possible recipe for disaster, I don't know. Um, we're just trying to get everything in quite tight. So it's all sorted. Nine meter that Andy's fetching in now, he's just been moving one of the trailers um, back. Uh, it was in the yard full of slop that our has been um, emptying out into today. So um, if you've enjoyed today's video, remember to press the like button and subscribe if you've not already. And um, let's do answer as a percent as well. So um, how's everyone feeling today? It's been a bit wet and soggy um, here and yeah, I haven't had the best of days, let's face it. So I'm at probably like 70% smaller. Like, yeah, it's not been, it's not been fantastic for me, um, but we've got through it and tomorrow will be a better day. So how are you feeling? Let us know as a percent. And if anybody is feeling a bit crap, let us pick them up in the comments. Um, oh, and I know one person who will be on top of the world, Mr. Ollie Harrison Bloggs, um, who's massive congratulations to him on the birth of his daughter, Clara. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to publicly say that in the video, because, um, yeah, he's, uh, he's a great guy and he deserves great things like that. And going to Agritechnica as well. Um, which I think he's picking up an award there. So well done to Wally. Um, he does fantastic work, not just for farming, but charities. And um, yeah, he's blessed with another child, which is fantastic. Right, thanks for watching guys. And we will see you later. Business, bye.